Hello there and today I'm going to be sharing with you some recent empties. Welcome to Self Care Karen. This channel is all about my exploration of finding joy in my life through a self care journey and hopefully by joining me you're going to be inspired things that might help you with your self care journey. You can subscribe to my channel Feel free to follow me on Instagram and also to mention I'm on Pinterest and I have an Etsy shop. In my Etsy shop, I sell curated skincare suggestions. So depending on what your skincare concern is and what you wanna do with your skincare um, regime at the moment, you can purchase one of my um, curated skincare suggestions and I will um, suggest products for you. I also have some digital downloads that you can purchase that will help you with your self-care journey too. So look forward to seeing you over in my Etsy shop. Okay, so let's get started uh, with the empties that I have to share with you today. Um, I've got a little box here and I'm just going to pick up uh, products and talk you through them. So the first one here is a Radox um, original bath soap. Now I bought this because I saw that it was saying it was the original one um, and it says it's herbal, a herbal blend with juniper and thyme and it's limited edition. Now um, I, a lot of my memories are triggered by uh, different smells as I'm sure yours are too and I had this memory of having lovely bubble baths as a child with this kind of pine smell um, and I've been trying different Radoxes through the years because I kind of thought that's what my parents would have bought. Um, so I was really excited when I saw this one, but it's nice, but it's not quite the right smell. But this is a nice soak. I mean, it's very inexpensive um, and it, it provides bubbles, which uh, is great fun, especially for my son. So yeah, this, this is okay. Another bubble bath product here I got specifically from my two-year-old. Um, this is from HIP um, and it's called Kids Clean and Green Bubbly Bath and it says that it, it watch the bath water turn green. I thought, oh my God, my son's going to adore this. So I bought it. It was a little bit disappointing on the green front because it's a very uh, light kind of tone. It doesn't go dark, rich green, which is kind of what we were hoping for, I think. Um, but yeah, it didn't seem to exacerbate his eczema in any way. So um, this was fine, but yeah, we're, we're trying a different bubble bath now. Yeah, so I do, I bring my son into, <laughs> into, my, uh, into my quest to find uh, really great products or holy grail products. So anyway, um, here's a product that I tried from the Holland and Barrett Advent Calendar, and it's called um, Killy G. Um, certified natural face, eyes and neck mousse um, and it's got a Bioc Lab Spirulina which is a registered trademark for this brand uh, inside it. Um, yeah I really didn't like this, um, I really wanted to. It does definitely feel like a, mo a mousse but it takes quite a long time to sink in. I don't like, I don't enjoy the smell. Let me see if I can open it up and it's, it, I mean it really smells of spirulina. It's kind of yeah, very natural smell, um, not something that I enjoy putting on my face. And also just to mention that um, I it really sensitised my skin. I got quite red afterwards. So after a couple of uses, just to make sure it was this, um, I switched to using this on my legs, which is what I do when I don't like a face cream. Um, it's a shame because it's, you know, it's got recycled um, the packaging is recycled and all of that sort of lovely stuff, but yeah, this uh, this wasn't um, this wasn't for me, unfortunately. Okay, the next product um, I am going to give Holy Grail status to. This is the Boots Number no. Seven Beautiful Skin Softening Heel and Foot Balm. Now, I noticed um, all through my life I've had really soft feet, which has been a blessing, thank you. Um, but I noticed that after I had my son, um, my the skin on my feet has really, really dried up and I get really hard skin on my feet. And yeah, it looks awful in the summer when I'm wearing sandals and what have you. So last um, summer, I kind of went on a journey of how to improve my um, the appearance of my of my feet. And I used a series of products and this was one of the ones that I started with. Now I'm giving it Holy Grail status because it definitely, definitely improves the hard skin situation on my feet. 
Um, I'm not keen on the smell. Um, yeah, I'm, it, all of this range smells similar and I, I don't like it. It's kind of a bit sweet, floral, but not really. Yeah, I'm not, not keen on this. Um, but it really has sorted out the foot situation. Um, I'm not sure though if it's because um, I'm applying it every day. So I stopped for quite a while after the end of the summer, but I started again a few weeks ago and I've noticed a significant difference, but I'm applying it nearly every day. Um, I don't know if it's that that makes the difference, the, the routine of applying the cream, or it's actually the product. So now I'm trying out another product, which is actually um, many people's holy grail. So I'll talk, I haven't talked to you about that when I'm through testing it. But uh, yeah, for now, this is going to be given holy grail status. Okay, um, another product that I got from the Holland and Barrett um, advent calendar, which is it's the first time I've had that advent and I've really been impressed. Um, this is Sukin Purely Ageless Rejuvenating Day Cream. Um, and it's like a, a travel size to, to try out. I really, really like this. Um, obviously, I am I am on the lookout for products that are less harmful in you know to uh, in in terms of how they source the ingredients, but also to the environment and so on. Um, I I really like this. It smells nice. It's got kind of a subtle hibiscus kind of a smell I would say um it's nice and um it sinks in yeah it does not as rapidly as I would like but it leaves the skin feeling really soft and hydrated so this um yeah I really enjoyed using this not holy grail but um but getting close another product from the boots uh number seven range beautiful skin is the softening foot scrub and this was part of the new regime that I introduced I'm not really a big fan of um, scrubs that are actually physical scrubs with the kind of um, I think this has got pumice stone in it um, but uh, what does it say gently exfoliate revealing softer I'm not sure if it's pumice or what that's being the the exfoliant there but um, yeah I, I it was okay but actually um, this I didn't use this that frequently and at the moment I'm using up the hand scrub, which I also bought at the same time um, as a foot scrub <laughs> because I never, I never use uh, the hand scrubs. I kind of feel like the motion of scrubbing your feet scrubs your hands too, but maybe uh, that's, that's wrong. But yeah, this was okay, but nothing, nothing to write home about. Okay, um, another Holy Grail product for me, and I haven't quite finished it, but I thought I would show it to you now because otherwise there will be nothing to show. Is, and I've got sort of pieces of it, is this um, oil, it's a solid oil, a solid facial oil from Lush and it's called Grace. And what you do is you take, um, it, it comes in a small bar and you take a bit of it and you warm it in your hands and it kind of melts down and then you apply it to your face. And um, I first started using this after I'd had, or during the end of my pregnancy and, and when my son was a, a little bubba and the smell is very evocative to me, but this I love this because it really, really feels like it's hydrating. I also like the fact that there's no packaging except for the paper that it's wrapped in. Um, so I keep it in a tin. I'll show you the tin. That I, <laughs> I keep it in a Minion tin, which I got in a raffle sale. Love it. Love, love the Minions. Um, but yeah, this is um, this uh, oil from Lush Holy Grail. Definitely. Okay, and then finally, an absolute epic fail. Um, and I've spoken about this in a couple of other videos because um, I've used it in the Get Ready With Me. It's called Wonderlift 60 Second Wrinkle Reducer. So this um, says that it reduces the appearance of fine lines, dark circles and under eye puffiness. So I guess it did do that. But what happens is, is that you feel your skin tightening and... Um, so much so, I mean, maybe I applied too much, maybe I went too far down, but I, I felt like I had restricted the movement of my face and I do not like that sensation. So it may work. I, I didn't notice a, a noticeable difference in my wrinkles and what have you. Um, but yeah, I, I just do not like this. I don't like how it feels. Um, so yeah, I haven't finished this, but this is going in the bin because uh, yeah, I, I just don't... Um, I don't, I don't like it. I don't rate it. So an epic fail. 
So that's it for my recent empties. Um, I hope that you enjoyed going through them with me. What have been your recent empties? Any that you would give Holy Grail status to or have you had some epic fails like I have? Anyway, look forward to hearing from you. Please feel free to comment below. And just to say, you are in perfect time. See you soon.